Hello ladies and gents, we are going to do another uh, torque problem and here's the situation. Uh, Lucy and Vivian are moonlighting as window washers. They're standing on a window washing rigging that's four meters long and weighs 300 newtons. The rigging is held by two separate ropes. Vivian weighs 1500 newtons and is 1.5 meters from the right end of the board. Lucy is 500 newtons and is standing one meter from the left end of the board. And I want to know what are the tensions in the two ropes. So let's start by drawing a decent picture. So here is my window washing rigging. Uh, science instructors, physics instructors use these a lot. Why? Because they're good torque problems. Um, we're going to have two ropes holding up this whole setup. So I am going to call the tension in this rope tension one and the tension in the second rope over here tension two. Now the entire rigging has a force vector downward of 300 newtons. One of my washers is Viv and she is 1.5, let's give her a hat and a little hair here. Um, she is 1.5 meters from this end. Um, Lucy is a little thinner and she is going to be over here. Um, and she is one meter from this end and weighs 400, excuse me, 500 newtons while Viv over here weighs 1,500 newtons. The entire board is four meters wide from one side to the other. And the question is, what are the tensions in the two ropes? Okay, now in order to do this, this is a situation where we have equilibrium. Now what that means is the sum of the forces in the x direction equals zero, the sum of the forces in the y direction equals zero, and the sum of the torques in this situation equals zero. Well, I have no left or right forces. I've got some up and down forces, but nothing left or right. So this does equal zero to begin with. My forces up and down, well, I have two up forces, the tension in this rope and the tension in that rope, and they are going to equal all of those. So I can go ahead and make an equation. Tension one plus tension two is going to be equal to 500 newtons plus 300 newtons plus 1500 newtons. So both of those together, T1 plus T2, are going to be equivalent to 2300 newtons. Now I have one equation, two unknowns, I can't solve it yet. So that's what I'm going to use some the torques. Now this is a handy thing with torques because the purpose of this whole setup is not to rotate or pivot, but I can use torques to help find unknown forces like the tensions in these two ropes. First thing I'm going to do is choose a position for my pivot, my fulcrum. Where am I going to put that? Well, it's always kind of handy to put it someplace that it will make the math easier. And I am going to choose to put my fulcrum under T2. And by putting it under T2, T2 will not produce any sort of a torque because of the fact that there is no lever arm between T2 and my pivot. Now, of my other forces, this torque is going to cause the whole system to rotate in a clockwise method. Um, these torques, Lucy, the rigging, and Viv, are all going to cause them to pivot in a counterclockwise method. So, in order for it to be in equilibrium, I am going to have my positive torques, which are my counterclockwise torques, are going to be equal to my negative torques, which are my clockwise torques. So let's go ahead and make some equations here. And just for, yeah, I'm just going to try and keep everything in view, but we're going to do it like that. This will work. Okay. My positive torques are going to be, and I are going to be these down below. And so here goes. If the entire rig is four meters across, I'm going to start with Lucy's weight and she is 500 newtons. How far is she from the pivot? Well, if it's four meters and she's one meter in, her lever arm is three meters. Plus the weight of the rigging, 300 newtons. And that's going to be at the center of gravity of this four meter board, so that's going to be two meters from 
the end or which I chose as my fulcrum plus the weight of Vivian, my 1500 newtons. And we're told she is 1.5 from that end. Now all of those are going to equal the torque in the other direction. And the only torque pulling the whole system, rotating it in the other direction, is tension 1. And that is 4 meters from my designated pivot. So that's going to be equal to four, tension 1 times 4 meters. So all I have to do now is simplify. 3 times 5, this is 1,500 newton meters. 2 times 3, 600 newton meters. Uh, one and a half times 1,500, last time I looked, is 2,250 newton meters. And I'm just going to add all that together. When I get all that added together, I get 4,350 newton meters is going to be tension 1 times 4 meters. So tension 1 will be 4350 newton meters divided by 4 meters. Tension number 1 then is going to be 1087 newtons. Cool, I've got one. Well then how am I going to find the other tension? Well finding the other tension, I am going to use my other equation right here. So tension number 2 is going to be 2300 newtons minus what I got for tension 1, which was 1087 newtons, and tension 2 ends up being 1213 newtons. So 1213 newtons is the tension in one rope, 1087 is the tension in the other rope, two equations, two unknowns. See you next time.